So we're here at the United Steelworkers uh, International Office building. It's the AEI building, and it's right across from the National Geographic building. And as you can see, it's kind of a big one. We'll go inside here next. We're here at the United Steelworkers of America's office up here in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, my name is Roy Hausman, uh, President of the United Steelworkers of Hellgate Local 11885 in Missoula, Montana. I represent about uh, 377 uh, hourly workers at Smurfit Stone. Uh, I'm here to support the uh, alternative fuel mixture tax credit. Um, it's critically important for our mill and a lot of mills uh, for the 7,000 steel workers in Smurfit Stone alone. Uh, it helps provide income to uh, a very important manufacturing industry here in the state of Mon in Montana and in the United States. Hi, I'm Ken Bauer. I'm vice president of Local 221 in Escanaba, Michigan, and I work for New Page. Uh, we have a membership of about 850, and uh, it's a critical endeavor we're on here. Well, what's the endeavor that we're working on? Well, we're trying to salvage or retain the tax credit that we're getting for burning the uh, black liquor and the recovery boilers that we have uh, to sustain life for a few more months at least. Okay, great. Hi, I'm Dan Lawson. I'm out of District 4. I'm Vice President of USW Local 261 in Bucksport. Um, our membership is 230 and we work at First Old Paper and we're a lightweight coated paper operation. We're down here in Washington to talk to our senators and representatives to uh, get them to continue the alternative fuel tax credit. It's been a lifeline for some of our mills in Maine and it actually is what is keeping some of our locations going which means work for our membership. Thank you. I'm Joe Calla. I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm the president of Local 10-701. I'm here to lobby my representative and my two senators to keep the alternative fuel tax in place until the sunset in December of 2009. Great. I'm Rob Eklund. I'm a member of Local 159 International Falls, Minnesota. I work for Boise Paper and I'm here to work on the alternative fuels tax credit keep it in place until um, it's set to expire and then encourage with this money to have our companies be encouraged to invest the money that they're making off this into keeping our employment. Great. Ingrid Wallace, International Paper, Cantona, Florida, Local 447, um, here to help with that alternative tax credit to try to keep our mills open so we can take care of our families. Great. Fred Bailey, President of Local 692, Avenue Bowwater. We're here in Washington to do the uh, renewable fuel to keep the black, black liquor credit going and hopefully keep all the mills running. How many people do you represent? 330 people. Great. I'm Keith Romig. I'm on the staff of the United Steelworkers, and right now I'm assigned to the paper bargaining program, and my and my job here is to help coordinate the effort these members are making to ensure that the paper industry gets credit for the environmental po environmentally positive things it's done for its use, for its significant use of biomass energy for being ahead of the curve on the issue and for finally getting a small reward through uh, an alternative fuel tax credit that applies to the industry and furthermore to ensure that the credit is the credit is allowed to continue until it's sunset in the, at the end of 2009. Great.